little Lisa from Low Cooking Robert's Den. If you think you watch my tutorial is very addictive, I can tell you making the tutorials is also very addictive. This few days I was kind of processing uh, all the orders from you guys. Thank you very much. And uh, so I didn't get a chance to create any new tutorial. And then you know what? I really miss it. So I'm kind of putting uh, shipping just away because the weekend is coming soon in Canada. We don't have any service on the Saturday and Sunday. So uh, we are trying to do all best to have all your shipping out on um, Monday and you will receive that shipping notice uh, uh, pretty soon so just uh, just uh, just know that maybe slice a little bit delayed due to the COVID-19 sometimes your package is stuck at the border for inspection so it will be there all your package is covered with the loss and damage so that means if it's loss or damage we will send you the second shipment so don't worry about it just give a little bit time approximately 14 days to 28 days and I'm really sorry if your border is, uh, your order is stuck at the border okay and then if you haven't got uh, watch uh, or uh, check it out local king 2020 new release make sure you check it out a brand new combo set they are ready to go some awesome um, combo and I'm going to show you um, the, the tutorial one of them today and I have created a lot of tutorial almost for every single new combo set so make sure you check it out local kings uh, online DVD library or the YouTube channel so that and oh and also 20% off for all the online orders except the, the summer special combo set the summer special combo set already applied the discount plus you get the discount uh, the free shipping for that particular set they are not free shipping for all the online order and also for this month's special we already applied uh, more than 20% discount and then because those are free shipping that's why the extra 20% off is not applied on the this month special and the summer summer special combo set so just read the information from our, our, our um, online store and then you will figure it out for our viewer make sure you apply the 10 and another 10 um, percent extra you can use this 10 percent on everything every single item that includes this month's special plus the, um, the summer special combo set. We have never ever offered this good discount from our website. Okay, so just make sure you check it out and uh, that's to start today's tutorial. You are going to enjoy this so much. Okay, so I am going to just show you these uh, three new combo sets. It's kind of like a vase. And then uh, for my previous thing, the design, we are either doing the shadow stand or we are doing the detail stand. And if you don't know what is the detail stand or shadow stand, make sure you check out the tutorial. But those two new brand new combo set is combined the shadow and the detail. So that's a pretty interesting. And I'm going to show you how many different kind of possibility that you can use those three combo set. So this one I already did a tutorial and this one I already did a tutorial and today we're going to use this one. Just a quick look if you haven't get a chance to watch uh, this tutorial and then because uh, they are same kind of design like a uh, uh, like a shadow and detail so you can I, I try to don't repeat the same technique. So for this one it's just a marker with a glitter paper and I want to show you what the embossing look like and this is the embossing too with uh, those kind of organic uh, pattern, Japanese pattern paper with the local king's uh, background stamp and uh, these and see how pretty so that's just uh, one combo set and I can come up with this one and then let's take a look at the other one so for this little birdie look this is just like die cut and I use our magic mushroom just blending the color and then this one is on the glossy car stock with the pearlax. This one is the um, gloss, uh, gold glossy paper on the pearlax background. And uh, this is a glossy paper with a pearlax. Some of them I didn't really show because I think that's probably too simple to create a tutorial. But I just want to show you every different kind of idea you can apply on the different kind of image. So, so far, I think that probably already like a 20 different kind of way to play. And this one I have a created tutorial and I also was showing you how you can create your 
uh, your own mini magic mushroom. Okay, so today's tutorial, we are going to use the least one. This is a least one combo set. And uh, they come with a stamp, they also come with three die cut, but we all only list two die cut. So be very careful that little small die cut. I kind of lost a few times and I have to go digging my garbage. So always make sure that um, the best way is after you, you finish, okay, just put the tape and then tape somewhere. Otherwise, uh, they will be gone and then there is no way we can replace that piece of little die cut for you. Okay, so we're going to use this one and this is the, the one, just that's quick, uh, quick result. So this is just a cut of one piece of cardstock, okay, and then the color one. So some mirror cardstock. Okay, so like this, and then this is uh, just some background. This is a water watercolor pencil on the dark cardstock, and I also have a tutorial use different image, and I seal with the packing tape. And this one is just a clear embossing on the red cardstock, and I kind of ducking the background, go embossing. Okay, but today's tutorial, I kind of want to stick with uh, like a just blue and gold. Okay, so I was doing some research and I found out those kind of very old Asian, ancient Chinese uh, ceramic. They um, Most of the time they are like just blue. They must have a name for that, but I don't know what is that. You can check it out. They are blue and the gold on their ceramic. They are beautiful vases for the dynasty or whatever. Okay, so that's why they give me the idea. I want to only use a blue and gold. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to some of the technique if it's repeating it. I'm not, I'm just going to like fast forward and then just some idea I think you probably knew you should know and I will just uh, working out a little bit detail and then to explain to you. Okay, so are you ready? Let's start it. Okay, so the first one the first one I am going to add is a very, very simple, but you probably don't know you can do this, okay? So I'm going to just uh, explain. Uh, we are going to only use uh, two color, one light blue and the one dark blue. And you can use uh, any kind of dye base impact pigment, whatever you like, it depends on what kind of paper you use. I did a, a, a review for 10 different kinds of paper, which one is good for what. If you haven't got a chance, uh, here is it, the number of a tutorial, make sure you check it out so you want to use the right car stuff for the right project okay so this this car is very very simple I am using the memento one light blue one dark blue and that I was kind of looking for that that those kind of blue though for those kind of oriental ancient um, Chinese uh, ceramic so and I found out these two blue is pretty much similar that color um, it go with those Okay, so and then I'm using glossy cardstock because I want to kind of create a ceramic. They are kind of like a coating with a clear coat. So I think the glossy cardstock, they will work perfect. And then if you uh, make sure the glossy paper is not photo paper, if you don't have a special glossy cardstock, just use regular cardstock and the seal with a packing tape that give you that shining coat. Okay, so if you got the new stamp, make sure the first time when you use your stamp, you want to get a perfect stamp image always erase your um, stamp with just a cheap eraser and clean the surface that way they wake up your stamp and they ink much better this math is only for the rubber stamp if you have a clear stamp please don't do it it's not helping at all okay so I'm using this one this is the color okay and then rub rub is the way I always ink my stamp so rub rub that's how you get the you know cover it everywhere and then after you're rubbing it you can see they still have some mark over there and I gently tap 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 okay you can use marker you can use all different kind of technique I love rubber stamp because of one stamp different person different technique they can come out with a totally different kind of result that's so much fun for the stamping. Okay, so for or uh, for local kids rubber stamp, you don't have to huff anymore. They actually dry still on the rubber, so you can still talk a little bit. You know, you don't have to, especially now, you know, COVID-19, you don't want to pass through any virus um, to your your lovely friend, right? So give it a nice firm press, push, push, push. Okay, make sure you have enough. 
that's a beautiful image. It's just the blue. You don't have to use any fancy color. Just the blue will do the job. And then now we are going to add the background. So I have, uh, let me see where is the beautiful. Okay, so this is the Chinese symbol, uh, symbol background. You know what? With 20 plus 10 percent off, you actually get 30 percent off for all the regular price. That's a really good deal because uh, we don't do, we are not doing the show. I don't think so. Any show going to happen this year. That's why we don't have any travel expense anymore. So we are, you know, apply those discount for our customer. Okay, so now I am going to do this very, very light blue here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, summer sky. And what do you have to do? Rub, rub, tap, tap. Repeat after me. Rub, rub. And tap tap, rub rub tap tap. So rubbing is apply the color. Tapping is kind of broker broking those uh, rubbing line. So this is the best way to ink your background stamp. And then if you have noticed, I don't stamp my background stamp on the image. I usually put uh, my card on the top because this is a big stamp, right? And then if your table is not flat or when you put your stamp on the acrylic block, if it is a little bit bubble, you don't get a nice image. If you try to stamp this way, I guarantee you every time you stamp, it's going to be perfect. And then, the you know, and the people will ask me, why don't you do the background first and then the, the, the dark, uh, I mean, the and then the front. You can do either way, but for the glossy paper, the first time when you stamp that image, the paper already seal the surface. So you don't have to worry. And also because the background is lighter than the your main uh, stamp image, so it's not going to make it any different. So, but you know what you do? You do whatever you like, as long as they work, right? There's no right or there's no wrong. Okay, next. So any design, uh, any combo set, after 2019, they all have a two double die cut. That means they have an outline die cut. And then so just uh, um, in the, for this car, I am actually not even use my outline die cut. I only use this one. I don't even use this one. So this one, just tape it somewhere, make sure it's safe. Then this die cut is actually very like, a, you can kind of put it directly on top, but I'm kind of, you know, picky. So I always use my guiding window. So just put my guiding window on top and then put the, the die cut on top. And then we are going to just uh, tape one corner. And then I'm going to do the die cut. And also, if you take a close look, there is actually embossing too. Okay, so this is what happened after the embossing. I put one extra paper to shimming it to make my embossing is a little bit thicker, uh, a little bit more deeper. Okay, you can see that embossing, right? And then you can just remove this one first and the wait. Don't do anything yet. Don't do anything yet. And then you can move the center part because we don't need the, that part. And then you're going to use uh, just regular tape. And then you're kind of going to tape the back. Okay? It doesn't have to be like perfect, you, but you just have to make sure you tape everywhere because you don't want those uh, like a hollow area falling apart. You want it, you want it stick there because that's uh, your like a uh, feeling 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 yes feeling okay so just uh, do this just a part of that make sure everywhere is a kind of tape right and then now we can release the die cut so you can just use your die brush, kind of pushing it, and then those tape is going to holding those uh, small pieces, and then that's your backing. So that's the first one. Isn't that awesome? It's actually very simple. 
two color and die cut and I use the corner dot uh, and then for this uh, um, the darker blue okay I use uh, one of my embossing folder is uh, this uh, kind of cherry blossom okay but you can use anything like uh, oriental a no you can sometimes people say you cannot call them Asia but Asia but oh okay so this is object it's not human it's okay Asia oriental looking this uh, like a uh, folder why you cannot describe people Asia oriental I don't mind it at all I'm Asia oriental yeah okay so that's the first one and I use this uh, corner and then see just like that it's so easy nothing fancy let's move to the next one okay for the next one is pretty simple. I am using the same Chinese symbol uh, background. So for the on the white paper, I use a gold embossing, and on that navy blue, I use a gold heat embossing. Sorry, gold. Uh, sorry, on the white corsa, I use a gold impact. That's brilliant impact. And then on the navy navy corsa, I use a gold embossing with a heat gun. So I'm gonna just fast forward it and to, to do that part and then this time I use a watercolor cardstock and then I am going to use uh, or handmade mini magic mushroom to color these beautiful flowers okay so let's move on okay so this is what it looks like after I die cut the, the watercolor cardstock and this time you can you don't need this paper anymore but this time we are uh, we are going to poking all the unwanting parts so where is the poking tool po poking tool here okay it's easier you see from the back but keep your die cut still inside the die before because we want to do the coloring we want to use this die cut as a stencil so just be careful don't release uh, that die off your die cut I mean the paper die from your die cut okay and be careful this one I always uh, try to remind you you don't want to lose that if you lose that we cannot replace that okay so this is my die cut and I did embossing just like the last tutorial if you haven't got a chance watch this tutorial so make sure you check it out because in this tutorial what I explained to you how to use your stand your die cut as a stencil and also I was showing you how you can create your mini magic mushroom okay so after I die cut it, I am do the coloring, right? And then don't forget that you are going to put the piece of rubber on the paper to support your 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 paper your die in your paper. Otherwise, if you use the paper, you just use the hard surface. When you apply the color, they might push the paper off the die cut, so that way you won't be able to do the blending anymore. Okay, so this uh, little magic mu magic mushroom is uh, fun to create. Make sure you create some, and uh, let me just make sure this uh, color is the color I want. Okay, see, I was using my ma uh, mini magic mushroom for the purple color, and uh, I don't want the purple. So you you can clean it, but I keep repeating in my tutorial. Those who are is the okay light use, maybe one or two time, and that's it. So you can actually pretty clean pretty well. See, there's no no. Oh, cannot see. There is no color after you wipe off with the color, right? So let's see. Um, this is not the color I want. I want this uh, kind of a little bit darker. Yeah, this is the color I want. Okay, the reason I use uh, watercolor paper because I found out watercolor paper they can blend in better. If you want to use uh, glossy cardstock, they don't really um, blend in better. Okay, so just always start with the oop too much, really bad. Okay, have a some scrap paper on the side. You want to start with a little bit. And then you don't want to color everywhere. You still want to show a little bit car, like those are white color to make this interesting. So I think I need to change this uh, mini magic mushroom because I still have some purple. 
Okay, so kind of just gently apply a little bit color. Okay, just drawing a little circle here and there. Okay, just like that. If you want to make this blue darker, you can add a little bit darker brown or even a little bit black. But I prefer just use a one color. Some place I just repeat, go back to add a little bit darker blue. That will work just fine. Okay, it's very important you got to leave some white. If you fit it out all the space, it's not going to look nice. Don't believe me, give it a try. Okay, and then where is the dye brush? Why my table is so messy? Well, I need to clean my table. Oh, here, find it. Okay, so just apply, uh, just apply a little bit on top. Get ready to see. Isn't this pretty? I think it's so pretty. And then our die cut have some extra feature. You can just kind of popping this one out. And then I think this is look so pretty. I didn't even use my stamp. And then remember after you use that, you got to kind of clean that die cut for next use. Okay, and then I'm going to, I don't think so. I have to show you how to do the embossing. You probably already know how to do the embossing. So just grab a navy blue cardstock and then stamping your, the Chinese symbol. And then you die cut it. Just like the first time I was showing you, after you die cut it, you kind of have to tape the back. So that way this will stay. And then you just glue this part on top. Get it? Yes? If you don't get it, next time for my next tutorial, say Lisa, please don't skip. I want to see step by step. You know, it's uh, so hard to decide what to do. Sometimes you, you explain too, too many step people complain that you talk too much sometimes you don't explain that is that why you jump so much you guys are hard to please well just joking so that's going to be the second one Oop. which one is your favorite so far okay and then for the corner die cut corner die cut is actually my new uh not new I think from last year, they come with the four those kind of oriental corner it's actually very pretty you do the horizontal, they look like this. And then you rotate it, become like the, it, it, it's the same die cut, it looks how different it is. And then when you purchase the die cut, or you can um, just download from, the, from my website, and I show you one die cut set actually can count out the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 different kind of pattern. And then on the instruction, you just place the, your die cut, just because each die cut, they have a number on top, like this one, L1, L2. That means L1 is on the top, L2 on the bottom, right one, right two. So you just kind of follow, and some of them is kind of reverse. You just follow this instruction, and then one set of a corner die cut, they come out with all different pattern. And when you order die, I will include this layout with your order. And then I think that's actually pretty useful. Okay, so let's start with the, the next project. Okay, so next one, I'm going to show you this one. So I'm not showing the background. Background is just a light blue car star and just use the words and the kind of color a little bit. But I want to show you the front. The front, um, okay, that's working on the background first. And I'm using this uh, uh, glossy car star. Like I say, you can use regular car star. And then, what do we have to do? Rub, rub. And tap tap tap, rub rub 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 tap. Okay, and then we put the glossy card stuff. Glossy card stuff. Glossy paper is not the photo paper. If you don't have it, just use the regular card stock. Okay. So and then we're going to do this. Very pretty Chinese lucky coin right and then so that's my back but wait there's more I want to show you so the front you can just cut the piece if you take a look my front actually have some kind of pattern um, 
Let me see, show you. It's actually, this is a, the same background but different color. And I kind of just uh, losing those uh, pieces between. I just use the outline. But I'm going to show you how to how 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 to do that. Okay, so I have my coins ready, and I'm going to wait. Uh, color the other one. The other one is uh, this early design. This is 2010. I designed this one. Pian Yin. I actually hand draw this one. The real size is probably half size of a letter size, and I was using ink. But now everything is just a computer. Yeah, so that stamp, I actually have original artwork. Okay, so rub, rub. And see, when you're rubbing it, you can see those mark on the stamp. Can you see those rubbing mark, like a rubbing, rubbing line? And then, so the tapping is actually kind of break those line to make your stamp image really nice cover okay you don't want to squeeze your ink too much you want to just uh, not too much but enough okay so i'm going to do again how i stamp my background stamp just make a shiny side and give a little massage massage oh i forgot to wear my ring don't worry, I'm still married. Okay, I know some of you are very worried. Why there's no ring? Is she divorced? Mm, not yet. Okay, so that's uh, the the front. Okay, so this is the first one I die cut it. I kind of remove all the the same, like those pieces, and then the other one, the background one, I die cut it and I did embossing. And then don't do anything yet, so we can remove this tape. But you want your your pieces to still stay there. Okay, you can remove the only the center one. Okay, and then you see there's embossing, right? Okay, for the for the tutorial I create. See, I just lost my black rubber mat. I'm really a messy person. Okay. So every tutorial I create, maybe for you, your point of view is probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes, but it takes me a lot of preparation because when I create it, I try to play around and I have to get that feeling, that's it, that's the one I want. So I try to play too many times, see what's different kind of combination. So I think if you like this tutorial, I deserve it. I thumb up. Please. Do it so that way I know you're watching and I'm not talking to the wood I have some feedback from you if you don't like it don't 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 still give me a thumb up okay so and then remember and I'm going to do the sound color we are going to use the Odaika as a stencil again but this time I am going to just use my magic mushroom so just to gently pick up some color if you're not sure what color yeah, this is the color I want. Okay, so I am going to just uh, give a little bit touch out, just to color a little bit. You don't want to color everywhere. Sometimes, you know, um, just leave a little bit white space. That that this uh, um this piece of artwork breathe. If you color everywhere, it's just like too much, you know. Okay, so just uh, leave a little bit white. Okay, and that's what you're gonna do. And again. I am going to put this one on top, right? So for this one, I am actually docking it. I want to hide in those white space between the stamp image because those white, it may be pop out too much. Like I say, you don't have to color it everywhere. Leave a little bit white so they then have some kind of reflection. Okay, so they then breathe, breathe, <gasps> breathe. There you go. Okay, and then now before you pop this die cut out, you got to tape it again. Okay, so use regular tape to kind of holding those pieces because we need it. This is a backing. Even I think it looks really pretty already. It's just like this, right? But uh, I don't have outline. 
So that's why I put this one. And in my previous tutorial, I was explained to you this is a very fine line, right? If you want to mount it to give a little bit depth, to make like a 3D, it's really hard. So what you're gonna do is you just like I mean the phone tape is really hard because it's so hard to trimming so small to make a a little bit 3D, right? So what you're gonna do is just go get some thick cardstock, cut like two or three pieces exactly like thing uh, like this, and then you just stack them together. So that way you actually can create some kind of 3D. Do you know what I mean? Okay, if you don't, you got to do your homework. You got to go see the other tutorial to learn all the technique that I've been sharing. I already created. I cannot watch for you. You got to watch for yourself. Okay, so that's and then what I do is I just uh, pick up the stamp and uh, color a little bit because this one, this, this part of the stamp, it doesn't have any detail, right? If you want that flower shape, so because after you cut it, so it's much easier just trimming that flower off and then just put here. Okay, so that's the third card. Uh, I hope you like the idea. I am going to share with you the last one. Okay, so the next one is a super easy one. Okay, so what I do is I just grab a piece of cardstock and the navy blue cardstock, I die cut it and then I embossing it. Can you see? Yeah, there you go, there's embossing, right? I'm going to just leave it. And then we are going to do the background. Okay, the outline die. So I put it all die cut die, there. And then this bonus die is the detail to cut between. And then how do I know where to put? right so what you're gonna do is you're going to tape the first one over there and then you're going to put your die cut in the middle okay if you have a sausage like a sausage finger like me cannot reach to that area you use this one i mean tweezer trying to find the the space right and then you do this one okay and then you don't need this one anymore because we are doing the embossing. I don't want to run to the machine one more time. That way it's just killing my embossing. Okay, that's how you get perfect line up. Does that make sense? If you learn something, thank you. Okay, I'm going to die cut. We'll be right back. Okay, isn't that perfect line up? Right? That looks pretty good already, right? Wait! There is more! This is a flat. It's boring, but I'm making for my special friend. I am going to add a little bit texture. Do you have any embossing folder? Of course you do. How many do you have? So I am actually use embossing folder to create a little bit texture. So you just run through your um, like a layering die cut through the embossing and uh, oh okay here is something I have been repeating to my tutorial if you don't know that means you didn't watch my tutorial okay this uh, embossing folder there is the positive and ne negative area okay so I want uh, because of this already die cut if you didn't die cut it doesn't like a matter but if you already die cut I want to make sure the raising area is face up unless you want the, the raising area is on the bottom so how do I know that on the embossing folder they always have a little logo so the side they have a logo that's the side you want to face up okay so I'm going to embossing and I will be right back I just run to the machine and I want to open it and to share with you so this is what I mean. When you have that logo face you, you get embossing those ra uh, racing part face to you. If you do that logo is this way, this is what you get. They both looks pretty, but it depends on what you like, right? And then we are going to mount on top like this. Right? And wait, there is more. It's like you watch the you watch the um, TV commercial, if you order right now, I am going to give you this one extra uh, free and wait, there is a 
extra set for free and just pay for shipping. Here is something actually I really want to share with you. It's so funny. So one day I was watching the TV and there was a commercial. And then what commercial is that? The commercial was the, they tried to clean the toilet. You know, like a, now the toilet, they probably don't have that water tank. You know, the toilet, it was like this, you know. Okay, I'm show you the drawing. This is the fun part. So here is the toilet something like that and here is the piping and then here have a, some kind of water tank and here is the flush right very nice drawing okay and then the so commercial was talking about the clean this water tank why those water flush the pool why they want to clean the water tank we're not going to drink in the water from there right so i was watching that tutorial and then not tutorial the commercial so the commercial was about that they have some kind of powder they open the lid they open the lid this part and then they dump the powder inside and then Inside the water, you know, if you open it, it's supposed to be clean. It's water, right? But after maybe 20 years, inside have some, like, a, I don't know, like a dust or, or soil or whatever. And then, so they put that back of, a, like, a baking powder or whatever. So inside the water, those uh, the water tank, they start to bubbling. And then they clean that water tank, and then they flush the, the toilet. And then that tank is, like, a super clean. So, and I was watching that one, I said, wow, that's amazing. And then my husband was sitting next to me, and then he said, which idiot is going to order this one? Who is going to clean the water tank? It's a water flush of poop. <laughs> and then I told him, I think that was very good. I was, I was just raising my hand and saying, yeah, I was going to order that one. I think that's a really good idea. Well, what can I say? I have a very weak mind. Anything I see on the TV, they got me. Okay, so, okay, let's go back to the tutorial. So, wait, there is more. And then, so what I'm going to do, you can see I put a little bit like a gold stuff here, right? Just want to bring, compare with this just a navy blue. That's a little bit too plain. Like I say, depend on who you're making the car. If it's somebody important, we are going to make a little, we're going to add a little bit glitter. Okay, so there is a two, actually there is a three way to add this uh, final gold touch up. The first one, if you have uh, um, like a gold uh, brilliant impact or like a refill, you can use a little brush to kind of brush a little bit and then just uh, put the gold embossing on top. If you have, that's what I did. I just uh, used my pen to paint a little bit, re inker the gold re inker and I just sprinkle some gold embossing powder and I heat up and do like that. So if you don't have a, like a re inker what are you going to do? You can use a Versa Mark re inker you can do that too. But if you don't have a Versa Mark re inker what are you going to do? You must have a glue, right? So what you can do is you can just use a glue okay just apply a little bit on the like flower the edge of the flower the petal area and then uh, you can just uh, well you know what let's just do that so I am going to just have a mind do you like my drawing very nice drawing right okay so I'm going to do I'm going to show you both so I just use this uh, glue okay just to do a little bit petal few of them Okay, and then you use a coffee filter. And then remember what I have been teaching, how I have been show telling you, glitter is not your friend, so do at your friend's house. Did you learn that? Okay, and then we kind of just sprinkle some glitter on top. So the place we have a glue, they will, let me find my little brush. Gently, you can wait until they are they dry and then brush off the the extra glitter. Okay, so if you have a glitter, you like sparkle, you can do that. Just put a little bit more because they go everywhere. And if you have a, your mushroom close by to you, just be very careful because those glitter. If you get a little bit glitter on those magic mushroom, it's a little bit hard to clean. Okay. So that's uh, the glitter. I'm going to put it back. 
and then you can use this filter to make a coffee for your sister-in-law okay and then there's a one more other way to do that you can use this new glue, new the three-dimensional glue okay and then make sure all the air bubble go go to the bottom and then but this one it created a 3D effect but it doesn't have a glitter I actually like the glitter better so I think I will stick with the glitter if you have some ultra fine glitter so and then after you do the those kind of three-dimensional glue put it away and then for this one I use the same embossing folder on the a piece of regular white cardstock okay so that's today's project I hope you like it and uh, let me know which one is your favorite days uh, one two three four let me know which one is your favorite and like I say I love to hear from you and I feel actually I don't know about you I'm actually so enjoy making this one have a good time and now I really have to clean my studio because I can't find nothing okay so this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand and uh, make sure you use the Lisa and um, the 10% extra coupon code there is uh, no limit until June 30th and uh, I think that's pretty much about it okay so thank you for watching this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand see you next time Bye!